Hi, I'm Paul from Timeball Toys, and I'm here to help you to make the Ostrich Periscope. This is a, a periscope that we've designed alongside uh, the Woodbridge Festival of Arts and Music to help uh, small adults and children to kind of look over the top of crowds uh, and see what's going on on stage. Okay, let's get started. I'll show you um, the parts that we have to begin with. So to make the Ostrich Periscope, you are using a lot of biodegradable sustainable materials. So this project set up with the Woodbridge Festival, okay, particularly the EcoZone, uh, where we're looking at materials that are biodegradable um, and using as little plastics as possible. So there are some plastic parts in this, but it's really down to a minimum, you know, where they're absolutely essential. Okay, so the periscope tube itself is a, is a heavy cardboard tube, okay, to take a few knocks at the festival. And it's got the 90 degree angle that you expect to have with a periscope. Um, and that's what we call the viewer. Uh, and there's another one at the other end. Okay, so nothing too unusual there. All right. But this is slightly different in that you can take the ostrich periscope and you can buddy up with someone else and you can join them together without any tools. So you just need some elastic bands which come with the kit. Again, those elastic bands are laid to clip on. Uh, and extend the, the periscope tube itself, which gets quite exciting. Okay, so uh, let's just run through the parts that we need. Okay, so part of this kit, we've got the cardboard tube, which I mentioned already. We've got some extra cardboard kind of strips just to kind of jazz up the ends. Uh, we have some laser cut components. So the laser cut parts are produced by Time Bubble Toys. Uh, and these have got a few little kind of clues to tell you which bits they are. There's a few little locking pieces in there to, to help with the strap, etc. Um, and these, you can decorate these as you like. So they started out as green, but you could you could paint these and repaint them any colour you like. We like that. A bit of personalisation. What else we got? We've got our cotton strap. Okay, uh, This periscope you can put on your back. Right. It's quite a bulky thing, so we didn't want you having to carry it around all the time around the festival. So you can put it on your back, take it off as and when you need it. Excellent. What else we got? Uh, no good kit is is without you know good labels and stickers. So we've got some labels here that we can put on the side of the, the periscope to jazz it up a bit more. Um, okay, uh, we've got uh, the postal end tubes. So these really help to keep the end of the tube circular um, and give it a bit of strength while you're not using it. It stops bugs and moisture and all sorts of things getting into the tube so easily. So they're quite handy to have. And we've got a bit of string attached to them, cotton string, that stops these getting lost at the festival so we don't create unnecessary kind of waste or lose bits that we want. Uh, and the elastic bands I've talked about already. We do need to use a bit of glue and that's where we're going to begin. We're going to start by gluing some parts together and then waiting for this to dry and doing some other bits while we're waiting. Okay, let's get started. The ends is where we're going to begin. Okay, so these are the viewer parts. To build the viewer parts, we have got three uh, triangles. In fact, two sets of triangles. Okay, so we've got two sets of these things that make the viewers. So let's put those parts together. So to make a viewer, we need a mirror, we need the bit that says viewer, we need two small triangles and a big triangle, and we need the bit of cardboard. Okay, uh, let's start with that first. I'll put these bits to one side. Right. These bits will slot in to the top. Now, if you can slot them in on the side that says viewer, as opposed to doing that, okay, it's a symmetrical part, but it would be better if we, we need to keep this flat edge on one, on, on, on the kind of left-hand side. So use this bit here to help you gauge the other So that's the big triangle. It's in the middle. Little triangles on the side. These just slot in. Very quick to put together. Ooh, all right. There's no need to glue those, really. Uh, they hold together pretty well on their own. This part here, the mirror, has been um, double-sized sticky taped onto the back of another plywood offcut, which you can see came out of the original kind of 
um, end pieces. So we're trying to use uh, all the parts efficiently and create as little waste as possible in its manufacture as well. This part has got these little notches here and that slides down like that and locks in there to build this, which we think is pretty cool. Okay, can you see that? You see how they fit on the edge of the tube? If I try alternative arrangements, if I turn that around like that for instance, you can see that even though it goes on, okay, those three triangles aren't against the edge of the cardboard. Right? And that's the thing to look out for. If I put it on the other side, I got confused again, say, did that right there. Again, I can't see where those three triangles connect to the tube. So there's only one way in which those three triangles touch the edge of the tube, and that's that way. Right? And I've got a little mark there, and a little mark in the top here. Right, see these two marks here? that help you to kind of line those up a little bit more. All right, so effectively, we've got to glue down here, but that's not enough. We also need to glue this bit here around the edge here, which we're gonna call the butt joint. All right, so we're gonna butt these two component parts together um, and glue that on and leave it to dry. All right, while we get on with some other parts. Right, so let's, let's get gluing. To glue this part here, we're gonna use this glue spreader. Okay, so a glue pen. This is just standard PVA wood glue, okay? So you may have some of this at home, uh, but we've got this as part of the kit. Right, to get this thing working, okay, it's got its kind of safety lid there, but that would obviously dry the glue out. So this has got, in most threads, we've got a left-hand thread or a right-hand thread. So this one, at the top here, this bit here, it's got a left-hand thread. So you're winding it clockwise to actually undo it. And when you take that off, there's a little stopper there, and that's to stop the glue drying out because he's got these air holes here. So we put that little stopper to one side, okay, and wind that anti-clockwise to get it back on again. And we are good to go. All right. So I'm going to glue down here. Ooh, whoa. Mm -hmm. Three triangles. Middle triangle, smaller outer triangles, okay, glue pan, that's where that's going to go, okay, so we can see it's going to go there, we can test this bit before we cover it with glue, Same, all right, okay, I can see where it's going to go, these bits here have got to line up against the cardboard, yeah, that all looks good, they look exactly the same, Fly there, joining in. Right, here we go. Let's come see what's going on. What's all this action? Now I'm going to glue those there, but I'm also going to put some glue down these bits here. to hold that mirror in position. Excellent. There we go. Okay. All right, while that's sitting there, we'll add the glue to the outer lip here, because it's on this butt joint. Okay, so we're gonna butt the two materials together. So all around the edge, be generous with the glue. Around it goes. Because um, cardboard's made up from, you know, wood-based materials, paper uh, and cardboard uh, glue very well with wood. A great combination. Just need to give them time. That's what they need. Okay, so we're looking at this mark here, looking at that mark at the top there. All right, slides up. We can see where the triangles line up with the cardboard here. However it goes. Okay, we've got a good seal all the way around there. Yeah, make sure it's sitting completely as flat to this all the way around as you can. And again, give that time to dry. Put that to one side. Oh, excellent. Right, lid back on. What we're doing in the meantime, while it's drying, is we're going to cut these parts out here. So these are our labels, and they've got a uh, double sized sticky tape on the back.
All right, so we're cutting these out with a little bit of a, a margin around the edge just to make it look a little bit more cool and professional while we're waiting for those parts to dry. Let's put them over there. Let's get stuck in to gluing the ends on. Now I've just got this one set up temporarily. So let's give you some tips here. You got these two packing elastic bands uh, in your kit, you're gonna need these now. So what I suggest you do is you make yourself figure eight, okay, to double it up effectively, and slide that over the top of the tube kind of near the end. So you're ready, you're ready to put those on. Because once you've got glue all over these parts, um, it's gonna get a bit messy. So to have those in position, it's gonna be good. So you see that there. What we're gonna try and do is to add this part on the top. Now, uh, can you see the writing? So we've got tube bottom, so we'll say this is the bottom. I'm gonna turn that up so that when that goes like that, that is effectively um, my tube bottom. I'm gonna turn it round, okay, so I can see tube bottom like that. Okay, nice and clearly. Okay, if you have it the other way up, uh, problem with that is you can't really see the writing very well. Um, it's just nice to have that like that. Now this part here, there's a bit of a lip here. So what we've effectively done is we've cut the tube and set an inside lip. Um, and we now need to use that lip to create basically a larger uh, surface area for the glue. Okay, more glue, stronger the joint. So to get this bit on, you're, uh, you're gonna hook that over there like that at this end, and then pop the back back on. So let's do this without glue at the moment, just, just trial it out. Pop that back on there, that sits there, and then here comes the double elastic band. I'm gonna pop that over the top like that, and that, that will sit there. Okay, now if you imagine you've got your glue on there now, you could leave that to dry. All right, and I know I've done a good job, because I can see the lip around there, the cardboard's right up against the plywood, so you need to check it that that's doing that at the end. Okay, now. Before we start adding glue, let's look at the other end. The other end uh, is, if this is the, the bottom tube, the tube bottom, then this is the top tube, or the tube top. Okay, so that's gonna do the same kind of thing. It's gonna hook over there like that, and, and basically um, sit just as the other one did, and you can put your elastic band on. Now, I just wanna point something out to you. On this side here, there's one flat here. See that one flat there? And at the other end, there's a similar flat just there. All right, so you can see the flat here, and you can see the flat there. They allow you to line those two up on the table. So you need a table to do this. So when we effectively glue it all up, and we're about to leave it, we need to check that they're level, so all your kind of end caps will line up. Excellent. Okay, let's add some glue. All right, uh, I'm gonna take my elastic band off and I'm going to just put that carefully down like that so I keep track of how it goes on. Get the glue out. Inside that lip there, because that's where the plywood's gonna sit. I mean, looked at that just now. Right, so I'm putting that around, around there like this. All the way around. Marvellous. Okay, it's no point putting it on the top here because that bit um, hasn't got any wood on it. It's just this inside lip here. Okay, let's put it to one side. So you remember this bit hooks on. So we're gonna have the writing down the bottom like that. So we're gonna hook it in there, on there like this. Okay, try and line it up so it feels kind of snug and happy. Yeah, and this bit's almost kind of 90 degrees to the tube. Okay, this being the, the longest part of the tube on this ellipse. Now I'm gonna put it to the side and just check that I've got a good seal around there. I am happy with that. 
Right, let's do the other end. So if you remember, we started off by adding the glue to this lip. So be, be generous with your glue, it's great. You've got plenty in this little uh, glue pen to finish the job. I think this is, this is the last glue in part, so. Yeah. Okay, all right. Lid on. All right, so we've got the writing down the end here. And we want to have the corresponding writing down there, which means that these two flat ends should line up. So I'm going to hook that over, hook that there, bring my elastic band on. I will. I've got um, on here. I've got tube top, and I move that down there. Tube bottom. Cool. Uh, let's bands on like that. I've got flat here, and when I bring it down. I got flat here. So I have two flats line up. Now, do they really line up? So this is where you need a, a table, and we're going to check that it. See, it doesn't quite sit flat, so one of them is slightly out of alignment. So let's just tweak which one looks like it's off the most. I think it's this one, so let's pull that around that a little bit, try it again. Ooh, that's better. That's better. So I'm just looking at the end here, feeling it on the table, and just getting it so it sits flat, and there's no rock. You see that? Very little rock. Just check that the ends are nice and flush with the cardboard, so you're going to get a good strong joint there. Nothing's moved out of alignment. That looks great. Check it again on the table. Okay, now we're starting to get excited. We mustn't start playing with those bits with that. They need time to dry. So we're going to leave those alone, and we're going to work on the strap. And after we've done the strap, we're going to work on the labels. All right, strap. Here we go. Now to the strap, I have got one end that's just stitched shut, and the other end that has a loop. All right, looking at the loop end, let's take that. And I'm going to feed that through there, like so. That's where that goes. Like that. Now what that does is that's got to lock in position. So I can be careful here. Down this end here, this is drying. But I've got this little loop bit here. So I can feed that through there like that and pull it all the way down. Tuck that bit in there. And I've got to, that's my kind of top of the strap then. Okay, so we've got the top of the strap up there like that. I'm going to always disassemble this later. Down this end down here, I need to wrap that around like that. Okay, so to do that, I'm just going to get my strap so I haven't twisted it up. Down this end here, and I want that to do that. Okay, so I can slide up and down. That's where this part here comes in tight. Okay, so this is a little kind of uh, clasp, if you like just to kind of catch the strap and stop it sliding back on itself. Alright, so for that to work, we need to feed it through here. And through there. And then close that shut like that. So we've got a bit of a loop here that we can put around the tube. I can pull that through a bit more. Um, I need to put it through a light. So I want to get that over the end. That upsetting the parts that are gluing. Right, and then pull that. Try again. And there. Okay, so it's going to go over your shoulder. Like that. Okay, so. Being gentle with the ends, I can see that everything's still in alignment. The glue's drying nicely. 
I can start to see now where my labels would go, or where you'd like to put them anyway. So I've got the end, end caps here that I can put on, and I've got these labels here I can stick on the side of the tube, okay, like so, or down the end, or around like this. It's up to you how you want to put them on. So I'm going to start by putting my ostrich label down here. Okay, um, I think I'm going to go that way for mine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ease that round like this because it'll it's more likely to stay on the tube. I don't want that to come off too easily. And I've then got to peel off the backing part. So I've bent this round like that to get it around the tube. And I'm going to peel off this backing piece here so I can stick that on. Okay, let's, let's start peeling away. So I've got the bottom of the tube here. So I want to position mine. Um, actually, I'm going to put mine at the top up here. Okay, so being the main logo, I'm going to have I'm going to have that up here, and I'm going to have it kind of half over the blue. Okay, and stick that on. Okay, roll it round. Okay, we don't want this coming off too easily, so let's keep it bent around like that, so that it hugs the tube a bit better. Peel off that sticky tape. Okay, so mine looks like that. These parts. Now these, uh, you might have noticed, have got a little hole in the end. This is for the string to go through. So uh, we can put these on, but then we need to puncture a hole through. So you need something sharp to get through there. Okay, so it could be a pencil, it could be a biro. Um, compass would be really good if you've got access to a compass. Um, and we're going to peel this off and stick that on. So bear in mind where that hole's going to go. So on mine, you know, I want it kind of, I don't want to spoil the logo. So I'm going to have it kind of down here, I think, and have this bit, a bit of string coming through where there's going to be a knot to stop that uh, detaching from the periscope tube. All right. Peel the ends off these. Mm -hmm. Just make a little hole there. There's the hole there. And then here, push that through, turn it over. Make that little hole there. Okay. And then I'm going to add my string. Okay, so this is the string that's going to connect it off. So I need to get that from the back, okay, through like this, and then tie a knot so it doesn't come back. So to get that through there, that's tricky. I could use um, a biro to push it through, yeah, or um, I could use a paper clip. Just pen that paper clip back and use that to push that through that hole there. And I think you find the paper clip works better than a pen. There we go. All right. Tie myself a knot there. So I'm going to do a double knot. Okay, try and get the knots to sit on top of each other. So that it makes one big knot that's less likely to come through the hole. Great, that's good. That's ready to connect to the tube, which we'll do you know, a bit later. Next one. So from the back. Okay, so leaving your periscope to dry now is vital. Okay, don't be tempted to do anything with it. Now, wood glue takes, to be honest, 24 hours to dry. So I would leave that, come back to it tomorrow, finish it off, you'll have a much better periscope. So be patient um, and you'll get a better product at the end. Okay, welcome back. So we've got to the point now where uh, the periscope is dried. Yeah, here it is. Um, and it's a good strong joint. 
So again, we've got wood glue joining um, wood based materials together. We've got the cardboard and the plywood. Um, seems good, seems good. So uh, next thing to do then will be to just finish off uh, the viewers. All right, so we're gonna work on those bits next and then, then we're done. Right, now the viewers have got uh, a red part that runs around this outer lip here. So we've got that to stick on. Uh, and we've also got the end caps to tie on. So we remember we, we tied these um, little knots through here. So we've got to do the same thing through this little hole that we made um, through here, okay, and push those bits through. Right, let's go. So starting off with this, I'm gonna peel off um, the double-sided tape off the back of this. So this is really for speed, I and mean, we could use could use a wood glue for this. Um, and you could you could put the wood glue on, wrap it around, uh, but it would peel off. So uh, what you need to do really is to have um, you know wrapped around with with elastic band holding it on. So with this part here, what we need to do is wrap this around. Now we don't really want to see the joint if we can help it. So it's always best to put the joint kind of out of sight. So we'll start at the bottom and wrap it round. And um, I'm trying to try and keep that, you know, up against the edge all the way around there um, as I wrap that around, okay? Got a little bit to trim off there. Excellent. Looking good. Looking good. Okay, next one. Okay, start at the bottom, out of sight, down here. Give it a shot. If it goes slightly wonky, you can always trim it with your scissors. Yes. Okie duck. Right. Now, last bit then is to attach these. Um, so we need to get this from the inside. All right. So this is the inside out. And if you remember, we used um, a paper clip. I'm going to use the same tool again because it worked quite well. This is a bit fiddly. If you try and push it through that hole. Mm. Most things you persevere, you get there in the end. Just be patient. Okay. Great. Right. Now, um, as before, double knot. So do single knot there and another one over the top extra chunky because you don't want that pulling through that would be a pain in the bottom yeah all right okay Come on. look at that i like it And same with the other end cap. You can do the old trick where we lick the end just to get a bit more pointy. Try that one as well. Um, you still need to use the paper clip. Okay. Done. So we've got both pieces that now look like this. These are your viewers. And um, doesn't matter which end they go on, they're both exactly the same. So to fit these on, you now need to use your elastic bands that we had with the kit. So um, some of them, it depends how they go with your kit, but uh, these ones uh, we've had to adjust them to make them a bit stronger and they've got a connecting piece. So you don't lose one elastic band while you're at the festival. Um, they're kind of connected, so hopefully you won't lose both. 
Right, so that's going to go through like this. You've got your two flats, all right, that will line up. If you did want to kind of get it to took less room, you could pack it. It will go straight again, you see that? But we want it actually at 45. So at 90, we want it at 90 degrees. So I'm just going to put one elastic band through there, pull that through. And then it doesn't matter which way around you go with this one, you're underneath. And attach the other one there. So this allows you to connect to someone else's periscope at the festival really easily. You just add their extra bit in the middle using um, their elastic bands and uh, you can make it a really tall one. How tall you can go? This one's about 70 centimeters in height. That's what it gives you. So you can imagine, you know, one meter 40. It's getting on to a good distance. So I'm going to turn that again for 90. Now this one has this extra little buckle. That's fine, it will just uh, sit above this bit. So we can, we can tuck that over the end. See what I'm doing down here. Leave that around. The good thing about elastic bands as well is, you know, if these wear out or anything, it's easy to find elastic bands. And we are done. Look at that. What a beauty. So we've got our shoulder strap. We've got our end caps that if we if we take them off, okay, we're not going to lose them. And uh, we've got our own periscope. Yeah. So hopefully it'll allow you to see over the top of other people. Um, and see things that otherwise would be, you know, hidden from view. Excellent. All done. I hope you enjoyed making that.